nice, nice to meet you. I've nice never met you before. I know. But I've just heard the loveliest things. Really? Yeah, you're, you're, the word is you're an absolutely lovely person in real life. That's very nice. I've heard the same about you, so this is going to go great. <laughs> or, or disastrously disappointing. Right. Can you believe they didn't get along? That's what everyone's going to say. Um, well, every, every, people know you from Veronica Mars, uh, House of Lies, The Good Place, currently Forgetting Sarah Marshall, sure. Frozen, Bad Moms. Sure. But what I want to know about the project that you did last year is that you guest hosted for Jimmy Kimmel. I did, yes. When he, when he was out taking care with his wife of his boy. Yes. Um, well. I filled in. I was a filler. Yeah. You, you... Don't get nervous. I'm not going to ask to switch seats or anything. Well, but well, I did enjoy it a lot. Did you really? Yeah, I did. So how many nights did you do? I just did one. One night, okay. Um, but you got the bug. I did. Well, yeah. Although I do realize, I will say, what an enormous undertaking it is. Like, I don't think people realize. They're like, oh, they must come in for a couple hours a day. It was a huge job. And it was really fun. And the only thing that I hated was that you would, in between commercial breaks, someone would, someone with a headset would run up to you rapidly and then really politely whisper in your ear, like, something about math. They'd be like, you got to cut the Star Wars bit that we rehearse, and you also have to minus four minutes and 53 seconds. Go. And then they'd be like, mm -hmm. action, and you would be figuring mm -hmm. out how to talk quicker. Yeah. It's a lot mm -hmm. of on-the-spot math, which... I know I look like I can do on-the-spot math, but I'm not really that good at it. We run our show a little differently around here. The well, band starts playing, and I talk and say the words in that little machine over this there. This is so much easier. You would easier. love guest hosting for me. I'm going to do it here next time, I then. would love it if you guest hosted for me. I Are, would... do, you, where, do you live in Los Angeles or New York? Los Angeles. Oh. <laughs> I'd have to give you ample warning yeah, to yeah. fly in, because I was hoping if I could just, like, just like I don't feel good today. Right. Could Be you like, tag in? Kristen... <laughs> Can you come in? Now, you addressed the UN General Assembly yesterday. I did. What nation were you representing? All nations. Mm -hmm. um, I am the global advocate for the Women's Peace and Humanitarian Fund. Oh, that's lovely. Which, yeah, what right? Is, what does that do? Well, it's, it's exciting because it's the first of its kind. It's a partnership between the UN and, like, local nonprofits around the world. So okay. we're currently working in five countries. We're trying to get into 24, but it's... And it's specifically targeting women. So you basically take someone who is in their country seeing a problem, a woman who says, I know how to fix this. You give her funding, you give her managerial training, tech training, and then you take her idea, you allow her to make her area better, and then you help franchise that idea to other countries so that everyone on earth lives a better life. That's fantastic. Yeah. Um, are you? What is your? What's your official title? You're a the global advocate for global the advocate. women's peace and humanitarian. Does fund. this mean? Do you actually go around the globe to advocate? Not yet. But you will eventually. Um. Yes. Yeah. Okay. We have some trips planned, but I also have a three and a five year old, so it's kind of hard for me to just leave them at home, even though I care about all children. Mm hmm. <laughs> I understand. Yeah. That's a real challenge. Three and a five year old. Yeah. So you're telling uh, me. A boy, girl, girl, boy. Girl, girl. Girl, girl. Yeah. Well, that's great then. Yeah. Because by three, they're essentially self actualized as a girl. <laughs> they can kind of take care of them. But believe me, have a boy. Have a boy. I don't know. Our three year old is nuts, man. She's nuts. What do you mean? In what I mean, way? she's just, she just, she's, she, sometimes she tells me she's going to kill me. <laughs> Truly. Does she go into detail? No. Sometimes or it's like with that? a gun. Sometimes with a gun. She'll say, like, yeah, I know it sounds scary. We're talking to people, don't worry. Mm -hmm. But if I tell her, like, okay, that's a wrap on the candy bar or whatever, she'll go, well, I'm going to get a gun and kill you, and I only like daddy. And then she'll just leave the room. <laughs> and I, like... Just... Now, does Dak Shepard, your husband at that point, take a victory lap and go, <laughs> you're perfect, princess. No, because if, if he had said it, it would have been, she would have threatened to kill the opposite parent. I mean, I do, I know it sounds really bad that my child threatens to kill me, but, like, she doesn't yeah. have a gun, so yeah, yeah. I feel like it's not and a real threat. Sure, everything sounds great. Yeah, it's, things are good at home. <laughs> Everything's all good. So... <laughs> Does, do, do your parents... Do, I like... I love that children uh, uh, challenge us yes, a lot. Yes, big time. Uh, big challenge time. us. Like, yeah. I learned at a very early age, or my daughter's very early age, my, my, my first child, our first child is a, a girl, and she out-debated me at age six. Do you get into, like, deep discussions with your kids? Yeah, yes. They... Sometimes it comes so fast, though. Like, the other day, in rapid succession, I got... 
Is Santa Claus real? Who made dogs? And why is Earth? <laughs> and again, I'm like winging the parenting thing. So I was like, does anyone want to go in the pool? <laughs> but then I will say I did find myself in bed later that night going, why is Earth? I love why is Earth. It's a great question. Sure. That's sort of like saying, like, how much is blue? Yeah. They why really is turn... Why is Earth? Do you have yeah. an answer for that? I, no, I do not. Why is there something instead of nothing? Yeah. It's, um... That's yeah, a deep question. Kids are... Is that are... the three-year-old or the five-year-old? The five-year-old. Five-year-old. Three-year-old yeah. get there. Three-year-old get there. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> she doesn't kill you first. This is true. This is true. Well, okay, so The Good Place starts season three. Yes. Uh, just started this week. Yes. Congratulations on that. Thank you. The characters in The Good Place, we found out, uh, we thought they were in The Good Place. Spoiler alert! Thought they were in The Good Place, but were in The Bad Place. Yes. This season, they're on Earth. They've been given a second chance. You've been, you're dealing with a lot of kind of deep uh, philosophical questions. Yeah. Including, like, the, like the trolley. The trolley, the trolley problem. Question. You know, people, tell the people what the trolley problem is. Well, it's one of the biggest philosophy questions that they ask you where if you're driving a trolley and the trolley splits, you're headed one way and you're about to hit one person and you see, uh, you're, you're, you're about to hit like 10 people, but you see if you can pull a lever, you divert the track and you would only hit one person. Who would otherwise live? Who would otherwise live? What would you do? Do you stay on course, not do anything and kill 10 people? Or do you pull the lever and purposefully kill one person and save the ten? And it's like a big question. Kristen Bell? Well. What do you do? Well, I, I would probably pull the lever. Sorry, guys. <laughs> I would, but do you know the follow-up to the trolley question? Do you know how it gets, in philosophy, how it gets turned on its head? No. Well, what's your answer? What's my answer? Yeah. Um... I, I kill the guy. Okay, great. I kill good, the good, guy. good. I kill the guy. So here's the follow up. Yeah. You're a surgeon. Yes. You have a hundred percent surgery rate. You've never failed. Okay. You're at the hospital by yourself. There's no one else there. Yes. Ten people walk in, all with different organs failing. Right? Again, you've never failed a surgery. You don't know how to help them, and there's one janitor there who's cleaning the lobby. I don't understand the question. Do you kill the janitor oh. to save the ten people? Oh. But it's they, a much... Or is it I need to strip him for parts Correct. in order to fix those people. It's a tougher one because pulling a lever is not like killing someone. You, it just someone will die. Correct. Whereas opposed, you actually have to cut up the janitor. <laughs> I would talk to. It's a to the, great show, you guys. I would talk to the janitor. So funny. And I would say, "How happy are you with your life?" Right. I'd have a conversation with him. What if he's him. like so happy that I wouldn't kill just him? Just had my third grandkid, I wouldn't, and all I would... those people in your lobby die. Yeah. But there's kids. What? In the lobby. Some of the people are kids. Are they three-year-olds who have threatened to murder me? Only one of them. Okay. Can I get back to you on yeah, this? Yeah, sure. It's a hard question. We deal with tough stuff. Sure. That's comedy. <laughs> the Good Place airs Thursdays on NBC. Kristen Bell, everybody. We'll be right back.